Well, it's evening now, and it's looking like a pretty decent day at the moment. Um, I, uh, really haven't been documenting my progress on the quail hutch at all, and I will admit why right now. It's because I'm really embarrassed at how often I lose the tools I'm working with and the screws that I set down and the attachment that I'm working with. It's uh, frustrating enough to me to be working on it and lose things, but if I were having to explain that every time it happened to, I, 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 I would be having a much harder time with my, my actual facts here. I dug up some used hinges. I have a roof here. Once it's upside down, I'm going to have this as a divider panel so that they can um, have like a little hidden area in the back. This is really snug. Uh, but I can pull up on this thing here in order to get it to close properly. It's just like pull up here and then push with my knee and it's shut. I have some barrel latches, which are the type that have that bit that goes down and then you twist it to lock it in on the way. And I also have some half inch hardware because I ran out of hardware cloth, which is what this wire mesh stuff is called. If you ever have to look it up at a, on, on like a hardware store's website. And that's for the floor because there is not, there's not a floor yet. So, yeah, this is really coming along. This is just entirely out of scrap wood that was, like, you know, laying around my house. So, this is where, if I successfully hatch out quail, this is where they're going to live. And it's going to scoot up alongside the window where there's a kitten trying to get a bug. <laughs> Um, I don't know if you could see the kitten or not, but I can. And that way I'll be able to keep an eye on them. If the kitten is harassing them too bad, I may put some, like, one-way reflective window film over the bottom window pane or something. We'll see how they feel about having a kitten stare at them their whole life. Um, but currently, they it is, what, the 24th or 25th? I'm actually not sure, of April. And the... The quail should start hatching May 3rd, if all goes well. I have been able to get the, um, what's it called, the humidity down to a more reasonable number. It's still not ideal. In fact, we could go take a peek at them. Why don't we go take a peek at them? I'm going to hit pause and we'll go look at the eggs next. So this is the hutch in progress with all of my tools on top. It's coming along. I'm really happy with it. So let's go look at eggs next. We'll pause. Okay, here's the eggaroos. And you can see there's no longer condensation all over the side here. And our Humidity high is 62 for the 24-hour period, and we're solid on 37. So one of the things I was running into is if I open any of the vents at all, the temperature goes unstable on this. It really has about a 3 degree Celsius range on it if any of these vents are open at all. You can also see my little beaker, which is a lesser exposure of surface of water in there, but the thing that actually made the biggest difference is I started adding a tiny bit of peroxide to the water. It turns out, and I just did that thinking it would keep it nicer in there, like not smelling gross. Uh, it turns out that it also has a much higher boiling point, and I'm under attack by a kitten on my left arm here. <laughs> Um, and so it's not, and it does evenly disperse through water, just molecularly. So with a boiling point of 314 degrees and the fact that it breaks down slowly, 
under boiling temperature, which this is getting nowhere near, it breaks down slowly into oxygen and water, so... That actually has reduced the humidity level quite a bit to just put a squirt of peroxide into the water that's in there. So I'm going to keep doing that. And I've only had to scoot this row of eggs back up every couple days now. Um, the pointy ends are all pointed inward, so for the most part they're maintaining their position on the rails and not sliding down and like kind of nestling into this part on the end but it seems like everything in there is doing okay the temperature's holding the humidity is better than it was it does look like you need to add some more water again um because that's getting low again but uh yeah this is like coming up on week one i guess being done and it's only about a two and a half week process so we're getting close to finding out if this is going to be successful or not finding out whether or not we'll have quail next week we'll be um posting about lockdown for sure and that's when you stop disrupting the eggs at all and get the humidity where it needs to be and just leave it closed for three full days for sure. So, making progress. So, yeah, if your humidity is too high and you can't adjust vents, add a splash of peroxide to your water reservoir, apparently. And, uh... I can't see it doing any harm. A little bit extra oxygen in the environment. Yeah. All right. I hope this was interesting and helpful. Happy quail journey. If if you like hearing about my nervously anticipating my first quail and taking care of the eggs, uh, please please subscribe or like or comment or whatever the heck. I would love that. And I hope you're having a good day. Take care. Bye.